The question I call, I understand this is a five minute call. I call Sue Moroney. I'll ring the bell at four minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I'd like to say that it's a pleasure, because it normally is, to rise to speak um, to a bill, but in this case, it's the Environment Canterbury Temporary Commissioners and Improved Water Management Amendment Bill at its first reading. And Labor is deeply opposed to this bill, because never has there been a more important time for the good people of Canterbury to take control of their own futures. Never have they needed that so much. And what are they getting from this government? They're getting this bully government marching in and telling them that they don't trust Cantabrians enough to actually let them have their own elected representation in the, on the environment Canterbury. That's what this government's doing. And I actually visited Christchurch yesterday, and I know that the people of Christchurch have had enough of things happening to them being done to them and not having control over their lives. This is the very time that Cantabrians want to take control back over their lives. They have had enough meted out to them, and this is the time that they want to have more control. And that was actually expressed to me yesterday in a meeting that I was having with early childhood education providers in Christchurch, where they were telling me uh, the impact on them of being pretty much sidelined and kept out of the, the grand Christchurch education plan that the government uh, landed on them last Thursday. And what they were saying to me, and it, it is relevant to this bill, Mr Speaker, because they were saying that they'd had enough of being treated like second-class citizens. The early childhood education sector, um, with this government, in education, is being treated by like second-class citizens. And that happened again to them in Christchurch last Thursday, where all the discussion was going on around schools and early childhood education was just an afterthought. And they said to me, we, don't, we want to have involvement. We want proper consultation, because we have some great ideas, they said. And they did. They've got some great vision for what they want in their city. But they keep having this government coming along and pulling the carpet up, out from underneath them. And this is yet another example. This bill telling Cantabrians that they cannot take control back over their lives, that this government will specifically prevent them from taking control back over their lives by not allowing them to have a vote in who controls decision making over environment Canterbury. And I cannot stress enough just how important it is for this government to start listening to the people of Canterbury. They need to actually hear what the people of Canterbury are saying, rather than be on their high horse down here, up here, from, Can from Canterbury's perspective, in Parliament, telling Cantabrians what's best for them. And here we go again with this... This, oh, well, I, I won't even call it a nanny state. It's a many state government, a many state government that now has a consistent track record in telling Cantabrians and other New Zealanders what's in their best interests, because this government just knows best. And it knows so much better than the people of New Zealand, and in this case, the people of Canterbury. It knows so much better that it will take democracy away to prove that it knows better. And that's exactly what is happening with this bill. Tomorrow, Mr Speaker, we celebrate Women's Suffrage Day in New Zealand. That's 119, days, uh, 19 years since Kate Shepherd, who I think was a Cantabrian, um, actually got out on her bike, went around with a whole heap of other women and actually good men, and got the voice of Cantabrians to actually fight for the right for women to have the right to vote in this country. That's happening tomorrow. What would Kate Shepherd think of this government? What would Kate Shepherd think of them putting a bill through Parliament today, the day before Women's Suffrage Day, to take away the right of Cantabrians to vote for their local council? Well said. Well said. I'll call um, Mojo Mathers.